Ring time with Leah. Not everyone is nice. Helping children lend caution with strangers by Frederick Elmontine and Anne Tecosa, PhD. Illustrated by Eric the Prince and Jessica Grinskasi. My name is Kathy. I live with my mom and dad and little brother Eric. He is only two years old. We also have a cat. His name is Spoons. We gave him that name because he has a black spot on his back shaped like a spoon. I am in kindergarten. My teacher's name is Miss Roberts. She is very nice. She reads us stories and teaches us all sorts of things, like science and nature. She also lets us bring in things to share for class on show and tell days. Some days, my mom picks me up from school. Other days, I go home with grandma. And sometimes, I go home with a friend. I wait on the corner right near the crossing guard for my ride home. I always know in the morning who is coming to get me end of school day. Mommy and daddy Always tell me never to go home with anyone else or to get into a car with someone who does not have permission from them to take me home. The person who is going to pick me up sometimes is a little late. When that happens, I'm supposed to wait by the door of the school. If the person does not come soon, I am supposed to go back inside the school and tell my teacher that my ride did not come. This only happens when my mommy has to work late or there is a mix-up. I play in my classroom until mommy comes pick me up. One day, I was waiting by the curb for my mom to pick me up after school. She was late. I was about to go inside the school to wait when a car stopped in front of me. The man inside the car rolled down the window. The man driving the car was wearing a funny green wool hat with a pom-pom on top. He had a matching green sweater. He looked like a nice person. Is everything okay? He asked. You look lonely or lost. I am not lost or lonely, I told him. I am just waiting for my mommy to come get me and take me home. Where do you live? The nice man asked. On Grand Street, I told him. That is funny, he laughed. I live on Grand Street too. I didn't think it was very funny, but he smiled and laughed. So I laughed too. What's your name? The man asked. My name is Kathy, I said. Hi, Kathy. You can call me Mr. Green, he said politely. I'm going home right now. Why don't you hop in and I'll give you a ride home too. I bet you know the way. 
You seem very smart, he said with a smile. I can't ride with you, Mr. Green. My mommy told me to wait for her here. I would be happy to bring you home to your mommy. She is probably worried about you. Maybe she is late because she is hurt or sick and could not come to get you. We should hurry, he said. I was worried now. Maybe Mr. Green was right. Maybe Mom was hurt or sick. Look, Mr. Green said, I have some chocolate. I brought it from my little girl. She is about the same age as you. You can have some if you promise not to tell her. Her name is Lisa. Do you know her? No, I don't know anyone named Lisa. The man reached out the window to hand me a small chocolate bar. I leaned forward to take the candy bar, but before I could get it, I felt a hand on my shoulder pulling me back. I turned around. It was Mommy. She looked very upset. Who are you? she asked the man. That's Mr. Green, Mommy, I said. The man did not say anything. He just drove away very fast. The chocolate bar fell on the ground. I was very sad. Why did the nice man drive away so fast? I asked. He was not a nice man, Kathy, said Mom. She promised we'd talk about him later at home. Mommy drove us to the police station. We went to the front desk and Mommy asked the policeman on duty. She said she wanted to report a stranger who talked to her daughter. The policeman wrote a lot of stuff down and then told my mom they would look into it. Whatever that means. When she was finished talking with the policeman, mommy gave me a big hug and we went home. Later that night, after my brother, Eric, was asleep, I get to stay up later because I am bigger. Mom and Dad came to my room. Daddy had a big book about the ocean with him. It was very colorful and had lots of pretty pictures of the sea and all kinds of fish, says. Mommy told me about the man in the car today, Daddy said. We both wanted to talk to you about what happened. Mommy said you thought the man in the car was nice. I nodded. Yes, he had a funny hat and a chocolate bar and a little girl the same age as me. Kathy, my dad said, sometimes things and people are very different from what they seem. Some people aren't nice at all. Even though they seem nice, they can hurt you. I don't understand, I said. Maybe this book will help you understand, Daddy said. He opened the book into 
a picture of a yellow and red underwater plant. You could tell it was underwater because there were fish swimming around it. What a pretty plant, I said. Daddy shook his head. It's not a plant, he explained. It's an animal called a sea anemone. It fools fishes by looking like a plant, so they won't be afraid to come near it. Then, when the fish gets close, the sea anemone eats it for dinner. Oh no! Really? Yes, Daddy said. It gobbles them right up. Mommy took the book and turned it to another page. It showed a beautiful fish with orange and white stripes and big fins soaring all around its head like a lion's mane. It looks like an animal from the jungle, I said, laughing. That's right, Mommy said with a smile. It is called a lionfish because it looks a little like a lion and because it can be ferocious and dangerous. You see, this fish's pretty fins are full of poison. If another animal gets too close, it gets stung and then the lionfish gobbles the other fish for dinner. That is amazing, I said. I guess you shouldn't pet it. That's for sure, Mommy said, nodding. Kathy, my dad said, even in nature you cannot tell if something is safe just by how it looks. The same is true for people. Some people may look very nice and act kindly, but that may be to fool you. Some of them can hurt you. Like the sea anemone fools the fish? Yes, just like that, my dad said. My mom said, people may seem nice or look handsome, or pretty, but they can be dangerous, like the lionfish. So you have to be very careful. Strangers may seem nice or say nice things, but they may not be nice people. You should only go places and accept gifts from people you know very well like family, or close friends, or your teacher. Remember, Kathy, my dad said, you can never be sure if a person is really nice just by looking at him or talking to him. What should I do if I meet another stranger who seems really nice, like the man in the car? I asked. Well, Kathy, my dad said, if a stranger tries to get you to go somewhere with him, just quickly walk away and ask a grown-up you know for help. Like my teacher? Yes. That's a great idea. The grown-up will know what to do and will be able to tell if the stranger is nice or is really a lionfish in disguise. I never saw the man in the car again. If I do see him again or if someone else I don't know tries to take me, 
places or give me things, I will remember what my mom and dad told me. About the sea anemone and the lionfish. I will walk away and ask the grown-up I know for help. It makes me a little sad that not everyone is nice, but I do know lots of people who are really nice and that make me happy. The end.